everyone. How's it going? It's Elle. Wanted to talk to you today about um, why some people can do psychic work and mediumship and why to other people that seems so um, far, far away and far-fetched. <laughs> Not even the possibility. And why a lot of people just can't believe in it, which I totally understand because honestly, if this wasn't in my family, I wouldn't believe in it either. It seems pretty weird um, because it's just not a normal thing. It's not the abilities that most people have. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is what goes on, I think, this is my best guess, with people like me. And I think it's just, and that's people who... who were born with psychic abilities or maybe who have developed them later in life although if they develop them I, th I think everybody has it to to some degree um because we all have gut feelings and that is psychic right there uh, I don't care what anybody says if you're getting a gut feeling about something you're getting a psychic um premonition and a prediction about that thing so uh, I think we all have had it before it's just some people hone in on it and some people it comes to them much more than others and why is that I think of it like some people are born so okay think of um, just think of you know like a, a sign holder you can place in the ground right a sign holder can be made of wood you can put your wood on your sign on a wood stake or you can put your sign on a metal stake right and if lightning were to hit that sign the uh, metal stake is going to conduct that lightning and move it through very quickly. And the wood stake isn't a good conductor. It just isn't. And we all know that, right? If somebody's being electrocuted, you probably learned when you were a kid, grab a broom handle or something, but don't ever use uh, metal to touch them. That would be bad. <laughs> so I just think some people are... Um, Born more with the um, whatever it is in people that they can conduct a little better. I know that probably sounds far-fetched and out there, but that really is my best guess is that um, some people are just better conductors. Some people are better channelers and it just flows through them easier. Yeah. And they're just born that way. I think a lot of people are just born that way. I do pe think people can um, develop their psychic abilities better later in life. Better. But um, some people just have it, and, and there's really not anything um, they've done to try to make it work. It just works and comes to them. In fact, it's for me, it was well, learning how to control it because I would get premonitions days and days ahead of time, and a lot of the time it would be a premonition on something that was going to happen that wasn't good, you know? I'd get this bad feeling. I'd get all nervous. My stomach would get upset. I just had these strong, strong feelings of, oh, something bad is going to happen. And I have, through meditations and just, you know, kind of working now more in that spiritual realm, um, I've asked, okay, I appreciate that I have that, that I get a heads up on things. But, you know, maybe just like an hour or two before the thing happens. I don't need to know days and days and days ahead of time of me, like a basket case of worry for days. And that works. I asked, um, just let me know just a little bit ahead of time. And, and that's what I get now. So um, it can be controlled to some degree. Anyhow, um, I think that is the reason some people can channel and get more information and it comes and flows easily, more easily through them than other people. But um, I do think almost everybody, if not everybody, has this ability. Absolutely. Um, and, and I think all people could develop it. I really do. You just have to like, kind of believe in it and be willing to meditate and sit in the power and um, take yourself kind of out of yourself because <laughs> you don't want to be working from yourself when you're doing this work. And I know that's really hard, but meditation is the best way that I've found to um, get in that other zone, get out of your own mind and get into another receiving zone where information can come to you and you're not thinking with your logical brain. 
So that's really a first step is meditation and sitting in the power and learning to be quiet and learning to be comfortable with silence. And I think right there is the key to why a lot of people can't do this. A lot of people are not comfortable with silence. They just don't know what to do with themselves and their thoughts are going all awry. And um, so it really takes becoming calm and peaceful and kind of, for lack of a better word, um, finding the Zen within you and being real comfortable in it. Not only that, but once you find it and you start meditating and everything and really getting um, deeper into it, you actually will be flooded with like really good feelings. It's, it's really, really a good feeling to, to kind of lose yourself. It's kind of like exhilaration or something, or like you just feel a wash of um, peace and almost excitement. Um, I don't, I don't know how to describe it well, but it's a really neat feeling. Bliss, <laughs> bliss is the best way I can describe it. Um, while you're meditating, and that's a really cool feeling, and it'll keep you wanting to go back. Anyway, those are my thoughts on why it works a little bit more for some people and how. Um, if you want to keep growing and trying and get into it, um, the things you can do as a starter point. All right. Take care, people. Bye-bye.